So I'm, uh, I'm doing a trunk show event. I'm working at Carl's Shoes, and uh, it's an old school shoe um, store. And uh, we have a super opportunity. We have Temple University in the background. We have all these doctors recommending Accelero to Carl's Shoes in Morristown, New Jersey. And um, it's a pretty cool feeling to walk in and, and see my shoes on people's feet. And I get to ask questions and see how they feel. And they just light up like a Christmas tree because they want to share their story with me on how Accelero made their lives better. On this day, believe it or not, they still have a ticket system. So the customer walks in and they grab a ticket and they sit down and they wait patiently uh, to be helped. A customer came in and I'm saying to myself, this customer really looks rough. Um, she's gonna need a lot of help. She came in with the, with the walker. She already got the two tennis balls worn out in the front. And um, I took it upon myself to help the guys on the floor to take this customer. Uh, I take her to the back corner of the store. It's the, corner, the same corner where Carl Barone himself would take all his customers. So I sit her down, I take her shoes off, I measure both her feet, and I ask the question, what's going on? What hurts? And the mom is already taken back because the daughter's in serious pain. Um, I could see the fresh uh, scar where the previous bunion surgery was done. I can see where the pins used to be. I can see all the, the, the tenderness in her foot. She started to talk about the, her back and her knees. And I'm telling you, she had the permanent check engine light on. I told her that I was gonna help her and I was gonna make sure that before she left today, that she was gonna A, feel better, B, she was gonna be able to walk a little bit easier and that overall, I was gonna do my very best to, to help her. Um, the first shoe she asked me for was our Accelero Genesis. And, um, and you know you're going down a slippery slope when the first thing they ask before you bring it out is how much does it cost? I said uh, 194.95. She took a deep breath. I brought her the shoe, I fit her. She stands up and she walks away from me and she leaves the walker behind. I'm saying, okay, I think this, you know, I think I'm being set up here. I think CBS is filming. I think uh, maybe the Hawaiian guy is gonna come out from the back room, but I'm gonna roll with this and I'm gonna help her the best I can. She comes back, she feels it immediately. Her gait changed. She's super happy with how she feels. And she says, wow, this is amazing. I never felt anything like it. I said, that's great, but I got another shoe for you. She goes, what do you got? I said, I got Matrix 2020. I think it even, even offers you more support, maybe for those days where you're gonna go on a longer walk. She says, honey, I haven't gone on a walk in a long time. I said, we're gonna change that today. So I come back with my shoe. I put the Matrix 2020 on her. I thought she was gonna do jumping jacks. It was crazy. So now I'm really expecting that somebody's filming me now. She walks away from me, walks towards me, smile ear to ear, ear to ear. Her mom is almost crying because she's able to walk. She's moving, she's happy, the mojo, the glow, everything is happening. She looks at my table because it's a trunk show. I had a future boot on the table. She says, how much is the boot? I said, for you today, about 240 bucks. I was just throwing a number out there. She says, can I special order it? I said, of course you can. Here we go, she takes all the shoes. Everybody's watching now. There's a three pair sale. She goes and rings it up. It's about 680, $700, I don't remember. The mom stands up, cries on my shoulder and hugs me. And she says, you have no idea. It took everything to get her here today. And look at her right now. She's like a little kid in a candy store. I said, hey, that's what, that's what we do. That's what Carl Shoes does. And that's what I do being the national sales manager for Accelero. So now she's walking out and I'm playing the dumb one now. I have her walker next to me and I wait until she gets to the door. And I stopped her and I said, hey, you got your walker over here. She says, I don't need that walker anymore. I said, I can fold it up and take it to your car. She says, that's fine. Walk me to my car. And uh, long story short, you know, I tell people all the time everywhere I go, hey, number one, we never judge a customer by how they look. We always try to provide them above and beyond service and never assume that somebody knows anything about anything. All I did was sit her down, took control of the sale, talked about features, advantages, and benefits. I, I gave her the why. She put them on, she walked around, she felt the reason to buy, and we ended up taking her life in a, in a super great direction. And you, you know, helped two people with uh, just a shoe fitting. It was a great experience. And I hope that you 
and have that experience. And, I'm, and, I, and I'll be the first one to admit, I have a bunch of stores with the same story over and over again from Hawaii to the East Coast. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing, fulfilling prophecy for us to be able to help people and change their life in that direction.